Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video over on the channel by the name of Leah's Chill. Today, I wanted to go ahead and say our official goodbye to another game that I played over on this channel over the time that we've kind of made gotcha content. Um, if you guys aren't caught up or you're watching this in the future, I'm currently going through an initiative where I'm slowly trying to drop every gotcha game that I currently play. I played roughly about seven. The, it was kind of excessive and I was always balancing between four to like ten and going back and forth ebbing and flowing and it was a really really bad habit of mine. And part of that was I spent quite a bit of time on Hero Kantare to try and make a couple of videos on it over time. Um, I probably played this game for close to 150 hours to get 30 minutes of videos out of it. So that's kind of an explanation as to what this has been. Um, in general, this game, if you haven't seen it before, it's basically a webtoon type gotcha game. So if you read webtoons like God of High School, Tower of God, um, I'll, I'll stands out. There's like this one called Unholy Blood that's inside here. There's a uh, hardcore leveling warrior. There's uh, quite a few that even I wouldn't know. Um, but I mostly, mostly played this game to try and collect the Tower of God characters. You can see here I got Rahel. Um, and basically every Tower of God character that came out except for like a couple of the rarer ones. There's a brand new one that came out like literally today. And so it's kind of difficult to get that. Uh, but eventually... This, this game runs like shit, by the way. I clicked on Rahel a while ago. Yeah, so it takes forever to load, unfortunately. So I had a little bit of trouble with this, but I loaded up Rahel right here. Um, basically, every character has its own three styles of attacks. Um, and it has a lot of webtoon content that literally won't come to the anime for several years. Tower of God, for example, season one's content is probably less than a 15th uh, uh, I don't want to know why I said a 15th, less than 15% of the actual general story that's out there right now. And so there's so much content only in the webtoon. And so this is the best way to see it all adapted in some kind of meaningful way, which is really cool. I, I wish the game ran a little bit better. And it's kind of the reason why I don't play it very often these days. Okay, so it's finally loaded and took forever in a day. Uh, but here is the bomb and Ilpio character that I was the most hyped for pretty much inside this game. I'm going to go ahead and get them level 95 today, because I'm going to be doing a showcase of them pretty much today. Uh, but these are the characters I wanted the most, because this is like the latest game possible adaptation. Uh, the bomb is currently from like the end of Season 3 of Tower of God, and this Ilpio is from pretty much middle of God of High School. It, it, it's not really like super late game or the crazy Ninetales version. Um, but I was really happy to see this adapted in some kind of way. Currently, Tower of God just doesn't have any other ways to access the main story. And so I'm going to upgrade this a couple of times right now. There you go. Fully maxed out right now. It should be all good to go. Um, it's actually massive to max this character out right now. And I just want to do a showcase today on the gameplay before we wrap up and officially uninstall it for the final time. Um... I don't know if I'll miss this one all that much, if I'm being honest. But Hero Kantare has a lot of mixed feelings for me, just because the game itself doesn't run very well, it's not very free-to-play free friendly, and it became really difficult to try and attain new characters as more and more and more were dropped every couple of weeks. If anything, if this was your main game, it was probably like the best possible scenario. As a side game, it's really difficult to stay invested. But okay, um, we're gonna quick quickly go and do a showcase of some actual characters, and we'll do some gameplay before we wrap on up okay, for today. Okay, so I guess I'll put my Ilpio bomb in the back just so they can end up doing some work. But basically, we're just here to try and do a showcase of the different characters I have. Um, I didn't end up spending a lot of my resources on a bunch of random characters. It was really hard to split up your resources among, like, a full team of SSS characters. And so it took a lot of time to adjust to. But this game, I'm surprised it lasted as long as it has, honestly. You know those games that feel like they're probably going to close pretty early on? 
this game has probably been around for three full years now, and genuinely, it doesn't show any signs of, like, going away at all. It just kind of continues to release cool characters and cool characters and continue to release different things, which is great for those who enjoy the game, of course. It just kind of lost my interest over time. I think the thing I was most curious about in general in this game was primarily just getting the certain types of characters. I just love Tower of God and God of High School, and there isn't really any other ways to talk about that content unless... Here, I'm going to use his uh, thorn here. I'll go ahead and pop that up next. The thorn should be a one-shot in everybody, to be honest. This is a super ultimate, and it's a free stun, too. Um, but there's not really any other ways to talk about new content for God of High School and Tower of God. Tower of God is still like an ongoing weekly, uh, thing. And honestly, it's really high quality content right now. There's a lot of really good stuff pretty much coming out weekly from it. Um, but God of High School has been on break since, I want to say July of this year. Uh, they're currently like right before the final fight, and so it's very clear that the author had to take some time for themselves to be able to like finish up the concept of the end of the story that they want to actually show to us. But of course, it takes the longest time ever to be able to do so, and so it feels so sad to be missing out on that weekly chapter of God of High School, because it's always such good shit. Um, but obviously, I, I, I don't know if they'll get another season, honestly. I would be very surprised if we got another season of God of High School. The anime was decently received because of the animation style, but I want to say it got like fairly negative reviews from a lot of the people I talked to. Uh, just because it, it didn't really pay off a lot of the things, and it was adapted kind of funny. Remember when, like out of nowhere, the Homeless Association started to fight God? Um, that happens in, like, the middle of an episode in, uh, God of High School. And if you didn't read the manhwa ahead of time, you have no idea what the hell a homeless association even is. So it's kind of difficult to stay invested, you know? Um, but yeah, it makes it really hard to talk about, uh, great manhwa like this. I honestly do wonder how I could change things up where I'm able to talk about these series I really enjoy, like this uh, God of High School or Tower of God, but also not make it be like a, a chapter review. Because I don't really like the idea of every Monday it, ho hopping online and going, oh, what, what are people thinking about the new chapter of yada yada yada? I like to form my own opinions and come up with like a more in-depth theory a lot of the time. Uh, or just talk about it in general. And I I personally am not someone who tunes in to like manga rev like reviews, like not weekly chapter reviews. I tune into things that are more so all-encompassing reviews of all the content that's available here. So I'm actually gonna do big damage boys here. We're gonna do Mira, that, and then I'm gonna use actually I'm gonna save Bomb and uh Fioras for next turn. Bonk. But yeah, it's a very basic type of game, honestly, if you haven't realized already. These icons on the bottom are the skills your characters can use. You can uh, either do a two chain, which costs one mana, or you can combine them into a three chain, which costs two mana, and every one of them is different. This one gives an attack buff to my entire team, and so it's kind of fucking broken a lot of the time. Uh, honestly, I would probably prefer to do this. Kind of want to start with that, honestly, and then we'll deal with that from there. Just so we have the shield up as well. Um, I'll miss talking about Tower of God and God of High School more than I'll miss this game, which is kind of an unfortunate thing, and it kind of explains why I wanted to quit gacha games in the first place. The enjoyment of the games is not exceeded by my enjoyment of individual properties. So I want to figure out how to do content on this in the future. And it's kind of hard to talk about random series on YouTube because the algorithm doesn't really favor like one-offs like that. Even though I'd love to talk about Tower of God very soon. I'm going to figure out a way. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. 
But for now, of course, this is our final Hero Kantare video ever, pretty much. Have you guys ever tried out this game here, given it a shot? What made you install Hero Kantari for the first time? Because mine was definitely me being a fan of God of High School, and then I was convinced to read Tower of God over the process of its lifespan, and then I got really fucking into Tower of God after I read it in the early parts of 2021. So, uh, just kind of was a natural transition for me, you know? Um, that probably is gonna be it for today. There's a lot of other things that you can do inside this game. You could fight bosses, you can do this, that, and the other. I'm not really in the mood right now, honestly. Alrighty, so the game crashed, which is just in time. Uh, but we're back just to go ahead and wrap this on up. Um, this is a really cool game. And there's a lot of really cool content here. And if this game ends up closing down, this is the kind of thing where I'd hope that somewhere these FMVs and GIFs were saved for future purposes. Um, but it, it was always this one that just didn't quite meet the mark for me. Uh, I just really love the characters, and so I'm a massive fan of the gacha for bringing webtoons to, like, the Western audience and kind of representing those things that are mostly Korea-only at the moment. I don't think a lot of people know who even Jiu Viol Grace is at the moment inside the anime or the Western uh, Hemisphere, and so definitely a pretty big deal. Uh, and thank you guys for watching my Hero Kantari content. Honestly, uh, these videos have always banged, and so thank you guys for joining me for this. I only have a couple more games I'm going to be wrapping up with. Uh, doing some giveaways right now, including Dragon Ball Legends, if you want to go check that out. And join me again in the new year, when we probably get the chance to talk about Tower of God and God of High School in very different ways. See you guys then. Bye, everybody.